New tonight, the fingerprint of a firearm. The NBC 10 investigators are revealing a way to connect the dots on shootings and get the worst of the worst off our streets faster. Yeah, here's investigative reporter George Spencer with a preview of a story coming up tonight on NBC 10 News at 11 o'clock after Dateline. I have flashbacks, a lot of flashbacks. Robert Gottwald now paralyzed from the waist down while interrupting the robbery of a friend, gunfire rang out. Help me, help me through hell. It could happen to any of us, and it turns out Robert Shooter was linked to other shootings too, thanks to the firearm fingerprints left on shell casings at the different crime scenes. Tonight at 11, the NBC 10 investigators give you exclusive access to the lab focused on matching up those fingerprints. We explore the changes to Philly police policy that may break open other cases, and we reveal where the program is expanding to next. Yeah, Philly police leaders are describing the tools you'll see in this story as game changers in their fight against gun violence. And the impact is only expected to grow as more police departments are beginning to get involved. And it's all about that mark left on the back of a bullet, yeah. right? That firearm fingerprint. Yeah, exactly. And seeing the lab where they are matching up those fingerprints is the most fascinating part of the story. It's really, it's really detective work for the digital age. Mm -hmm. Fascinating stuff. We'll see how Philly police take it forward and other yeah. agencies yes. uh, potentially from out of state that get involved. Yes. All right, George Spencer, thanks for that. All right, dreary conditions in 